In the last video, y'all saw us install this GT15 Turbo that was machined and sealed by G-Pop Shop. The only thing was that we're still pushing way too much oil pressure through, so it's still leaking through the seals. And that's why we have this regulator and all these parts over here. We can finally get this thing solid and not leak. Before we start with the new parts, for any new viewers here, we're gonna go over just what we're running right now. So right now, this is a GT15 Turbo. It was machined and rebalanced and oil sealed. And that oil seal is so that when the engine pulls any sort of vacuum, oil doesn't pull through the journal bearings and into the engine and start burning. So gpopshop.com helped us with this. They machined everything for us and balanced everything. And they also oil pressure tested it. So this thing should be good to 77 PSI. So obviously, we're still blowing oil through those seals and it blew through on both sides. So that lets us know that it's pushing past the carbon seal. That means our pump is running more than 77 PSI and we need to limit it down to between 30 and 60 to have our happy turbo. So the main upgrade for our oiling system is this TurboSmart OPR T40 oil pressure regulator. So G-Pop Shop is a distributor for these, so head to their website if you wanna check one out. But this will limit our oil pressure to the turbo to 40 PSI, which is in the safe range of oil pressure. The next thing we got is this oil pressure gauge, so we can see what's going on when we're actually running this thing. And we also got this one-way check valve, and we will go into that later about why you would need this on your turbo setup. Last but not least, we have a large drain and a bunch of fittings to make this all work. Got a huge upgrade coming in. We welded on these mounts, so our oil pump is no longer gonna be zip tied. Here's the complete setup for our oil pressure regulator. We got our inlet and outlet. We have our oil pressure gauge and we have our return line. So this will go right up here next to our oil pump. And basically the plumbing will be very similar to how it was before. All right, there's our inlet and the outlet. The new turbo setup is complete. I'm super excited about this. We have all of the parts we need to make a legitimate and reliable turbo setup. So we should have way fewer problems from here on out. So basically, I'm gonna go through each new component on this turbo setup and just give it a little explanation about it. If y'all want a more in-depth video about how to turbo any sort of four-stroke or rotary engine, leave a comment, like this video, and we'll get that out for y'all. For a recap, this is our turbo. It is a GT15. It has been carbon sealed, machined, and balanced by G-Pop Shop. You can check them out at carbonsealedturbo.com. And this has a wastegate, carbon seals, just everything we'll need to have a great draw through carb setup. The main upgrades for this new setup have been to the oiling system. We're trying to make sure we don't have too much pressure to blow past the seals. So this is our oil pressure regulator. It regulates it to supposedly 40 PSI. We're seeing 50 on this gauge, but that might be because it's a fuel gauge. So we have our inlet, outlet, and there's a drain in the back. And it's very simple and works great for us. Next we have our oil filter, it's just good for longevity. And then above it we have our one-way check valve and this is good for making sure oil doesn't drain into the turbo and that there's oil sitting ready to go into the turbo so on startups you don't have any dry spots and startup wear on your turbo. And last but not least, we reworked our drain. So we had it previously going uphill and you do not want that on a turbo. There's no pressure forcing this out. You need it, it's a gravity drain so you definitely need it to be smooth and downhill the whole way down into your oil reservoir. So we shortened our tube, relocated our reservoir, and now it goes straight down. And as you all can see, there is no oil sitting in this tube. Previously on our old setup, there was, so that's great. Well, we were trying to start this thing up to get it warming up a little bit, and we heard a loud pop. At first we were kind of scared that it was some of our new nice turbo parts, but it ended up being this. Our brake just snapped in half. We did have our foot on the brake from keeping it from running off, but uh, I've never seen that before. Yeah, I'm not very trusting of uh, ordering another one, but we will have to find some alternatives so we have some brakes on this thing. Uh, I guess we won't have brakes for this ride.
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was that shooting flames? Yeah, it's a big old flame. Big old. So, oh, that's awesome. Uh, it, okay, so definitely way more power. It's not smoking. I think that's happy two-stroke smoke, not oil. Not really sure at this point. Uh, we'll have to check in the exhaust and see if there's oil through once it cools down. Um, it's kind of a huge bummer that the brake snapped in half because we have one semi working front brake. We don't have both and one of them barely works. So really I can't stop. Like that's why I'm doing just wheelies here because I mean it may look like I'm just coasting to a stop over there but that's me absolutely on the brakes as much as I can. So now we gotta wait for brakes to come in. At least it still does wheelies, it does not smoke and it's faster. That's a win. I think that's a triple win. That's a triple win. pretty good success in the last few videos we've been kind of struggling to get everything dialed in but luckily with the help of G-Pop Shop and some of your comments we got this thing pretty reliable and so far it looks really good yeah sorry to have this kind of disappointing end of the episode I never would have thought that our brake caliper would break in half and that'd be why we wouldn't run this thing I was like turbo oiling system stuff like that but brake caliper no got to be some type of sign to yeah. stop it here we're trying to keep some sort of semi-regular upload schedule so yeah we don't have time to wait for a new one to ship in but it's all right in the next video the main plan for this thing is to give it a real proper test rip get some top speed some baseline test to see how much better this setup is some jumps maybe some jumps bigger wheelies all that good stuff that you guys want to see and then after that uh we have a couple special secret plans in the works, so make sure you stay tuned for those. And we also have a couple of cosmetic things, some paint to make this thing look a little more mean and aggressive. So uh, definitely subscribe so you catch all of that. And thank you for watching.